Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Command of the Distancing episode. I, I think this is episode four. Totally, absolutely on board. It's definitely episode four. I've got some great guests with me. Obviously, I have my co host Caitlin is here, whose name is around the wrong way on, <laughs> on my setup. How you doing, Caitlin? Glad to actually be on one of these. <laughs> Well, I mean, we'd hope so being the co-host and all. Let me just switch that over. <laughs> uh, and of course, we have a Jake boss from the good old US of Orange Man. How you doing, Jake? Doing good. Staying safe. That's the most important part, right? And staying the fuck home? Yeah. See, Dylan, you told me I had one fuck. I've used it. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, we have Dylan, the Ma. How you doing, Dil? I'm doing great. You know, I probably shouldn't have shortened that. I'm sorry. Every Dylan I've known has been a Dill. Not, not. Okay. Wait, that sounds even worse because then. I had it... worse. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, I guess we should go around and introduce what commanders we're running as well. I am running Intet the Dreamer, uh, thanks to people on Twitter saying that they really wanted to see a version of this. Three colors, one blue, one red, one green for a legendary creature dragon flying. Uh, when an intet deals combat damage to a player, I can pay two colors and one blue, and if I do, I exile the top card of my library face down. I can look at that card for as long as it remains exiled, and I may play that card without paying its mana cost for as long as intet remains on the battlefield. Uh, so, inherit value commander, I guess. Big stupid things are great when you can cast them for free. What about you, Jake? What you got? Today I'm running a Rixmithy's Slumbering Isle. Uh... When it enters the battlefield with five slumber counters on it, and basically it's a ramp spell. As long as it has a slumber counter on it, it's a land, and when I cast a spell, I remove a slumber counter from it. So when I cast five spells with him, he turns into a big, nasty 12-12. I'm going to try to smack some people for commander damage today. Nice. How about you, Caitlin? What are you running? I am playing Dorelli Sc Scrap Savant, and I will be doing lots of art of action shenanigans. Sigh. And Dylan, who are you running? You know exactly what this deck is, and yeah. you are scared. I hate that deck. I will be playing Gerard Conclave Exile. Uh, he's two colorless, a red, a green, and a white. Uh, when he enters the battlefield, create a 4 4 green rhino token with trample. Whenever he attacks, populate. The token enters the battlefield tapped and attacking. Yay, tokens. <laughs> <laughs> The one thing we see in Commander all too often. Alright, so everyone grab two six-sided dice and let's do a roll-off. The highest roll will be going first. I got seven. Uh, Can someone roll for me? Uh, I will roll I for you. I need to grab my dice. I'll be back in a moment. You rolled seven yeah, as well? I actually think I'm through. I got an eight. So, so far Jake is winning and Caitlin hasn't got diced with her because, you know, we're all so prepared. <laughs> If anyone's really wondering, on me. that's fine. If anyone's wondering about the stream quality, it's a bit bad today. Hashtag Australian Internet. So we'll be trying to let you know of what cards we're playing. If if I had the money, I'd hire a live producer to bring the cards up on the screen. That's not going to happen, and you're not going to see me trying to type the names because I'm legally blind. I rolled a two. <laughs> All right. Well, Jake's first then. So everyone draw your hands, right. make sure you've got uh, a good enough hand to play. Remember you get one free mulligan. Although sometimes we may afford you more. Oh, one land, that's going back. <laughs> yeah, this is definitely a keeper. This is, this is the perfect oh, commander it. opening hand. Soul ring in a land? Soul ring signet. <laughs> land soul ring signet. I, I did that in a game last night, setup. and it was... Hmm. You know what, it's too many lands, but I'm going to keep it. You were saying, Kevin, sorry? There's something very nice about with playing an 8 drop on turn 3. I mean... Gross. <laughs> God, I can't even think of any 8 drops. It's top of my head. Burn right, Force? <laughs> or is that seven? Cool. Well, you, you kick us off, Jake. Alright, draw for turn. I'll play a Simic Guild Gate and pass turn. Alright. Am I next? I don't you know. You are. Yep. If... Okay, cool. So, draw for turn. Cool. Alright. 
we will be playing Planes. Just tap it for a soul ring. Ooh. Tap soul ring. Somebody's the villain. For a lightning graves. Oh, baby. And go. I mean, that's the second best start I've ever seen. Uh, I am just going to drop a mountain and pass turn. Ooh. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna draw. I'm gonna drop a wooded foothills and pass the turn. Tap draw. I'll play a forest. Good and then I'll pass the turn and basic land cycle ash barons and grab an island. All right. Now we're gonna go untap, upkeep, draw. Alright. Play a mountain. And then we will. One, two, three. Play Scare Tiller. That is artifact creature Scarecrow. He's a 1 4. When he becomes tapped, I may put a land from my hand onto the battlefield tapped or return a land from a graveyard to the battlefield tapped. Wow. I'm going, I'm going to equip him with Lightning Greaves. <laughs> And I will send him at, sorry, was it Caitlin? Yep. Yeah, so attacking you for one. Scare oh. will trigger. And I will put a forest onto the battlefield attempt. Mm-hmm. Uh yep. Yeah. It's me. I need to get used to shine oil. I think I just play interplay in a beacon. And then throw down a mere retriever. Ooh. Because I would like a 1 1. You would win. <laughs> uh, untap. Draw. I'm going to. Oh, what are we going to do here? I think we're just going to throw down. Oh, jeez. Steam vent's tapped, and I'm going to pass the turn. Untap. Draw. Where's all my I'm artifacts? Where's all my brain? Island, and I'll pass. Alright. Front tap. Draw. Uh, that's good to have. Play a mountain for land. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six. Cool. Wouldn't mind my right. sovereign right now. <laughs> I think I will bring out Garrett. Alright, I'm gonna respond to that. Sorry to okay. say your start was too good. I'm gonna Ooh. disallow that and ca counter your commander. Snap. That's a like reasonable thing to do. Yeah, I think that's fair. Alright. And then I'll swing at you for one, Jake. <laughs> I accept. I got a thirty-nine. I do not have a lead in hand to make use of scarecrow. That Shut makes up. me so sad. That is your turn, sorry. Yeah. Uh, let's just run out of the mansion. Yo, Freshmaker, what up? Play a Twitch project commander with a 36 square foot map. What? That doesn't make sense. And then, I do believe Dylan's the only one still on 40. So I have one. It's making me do it all the old tapping. Cool. Untap, draw. Oh, come on, really? Um, I'm gonna play a Hintland Harbor. And uh, pass the turn. Untap, draw. Oh. Who would have thought a deck with big spells would just be sitting here doing nothing? I'm going to play a Rogue's Passage, and I'm going to cast my commander, Rick Smithy's Sm Slumbering Isle, with five counters on him. And I'm going to pass. Alright. Untap. Social distancing joke. Oh, I get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very right. good. 
see, I Where just make it? a joke about besides my dining room table. Because, honestly, we sit that far apart if we're playing Commander on the table. I'm surprised that somebody hasn't done a Batman meme with social distancing yet. Alright. Which Batman? Uh, yeah, tell me this meme. So... Here, explain the meme. Do you remember the first Batman movie? I think it was the first one. Where it's him and the reporter, and they're having soup... And they're, like, it's Michael Keaton and what's-her-name at opposite ends of the table? Is that the first one or the second one? I'm sure it was the first one. Yeah, it was the first one. Yeah, I vaguely remember what you're talking about. Hashtag meme it. <laughs> mm-hmm. Two. Three. Four. Thrag t- Thrag rush. Thrag tusk. <laughs> There is a 5-3. Oh. When he enters the battlefield, I gain 5 life. Thrag Thrush? Is that where you were going with that one? And when he leaves the battlefield, I get a 3-3 beast token. And then, I will equip Lightning Graves to it. And then I will swing... 1 at Chesh. And 5 coming at Jake. Okay, I'll take 5 and go to 34. Yep, I got a 38. And turn. So what do you have on the board, Caitlin? I've got a 1-1 one, one Mew Retriever and a 3-3 three, three Cathodian. Oy. I'm sure and that's And they both fine. have death triggers. Cool. Yay, it doesn't look so horrible anymore. It's, well, less horrible than it COVID. looked. <laughs> I'm just going to spend four mana, play my commander, um, and because I cast it with Interplanet Beacon, I gain a life. So are they both artifact creatures? They're both artifact creatures, yes. Okay. And what are the death triggers? Uh, so Mirror Retriever will get some, get target artifact from my graveyard to my hand, and okay. Cathodian will give me three life, three mana. Um, I'm then going to tick up to ready to discard two cards and draw two cards. I will discard Mere Battle Sphere, which is totally not scary, and Fire Diamond. God damn it, I should have done something before you did that. <laughs> Probably. Um,. Uh, I'm happy to pass. No, right. uh, drop for my turn. Oh come on! Uh, play Castle Ventress and. Oh. I, um... Did you say you built this deck last night, Josh? I did. That shouldn't have any impact on the current situation. Just having a a bad day. Uh, yes, hey, you just like mana floods right now. A little bit. Past turn. See, the the inherent problem with an intet deck is that you're trying to maximize by playing a whole bunch of spells that are really expensive, which is where you offset it with like um, ramp and artifact ramp. I didn't draw any of my ramp or artifact ramp. I'm going to. Tap a Rixmithies in this island for Temenzora on a Rixmithies, which was a very lucky draw. Uh, what does it do? So I can pay a blue to untap Enchanted Creature, um, and then a Rixmithies taps for a blue and a green already. So basically, he gives me infinite green mana if I can untap him. I have a cast trigger to remove a slumber counter. Oof. So, so that's an enchantment. Uh, it is an enchantment, yeah. Alright, in response. Uh, tap two. I'm going to Sundering Growth your enchantment there. Destroy target artifact or enchantment. And then populate. I don't have any tokens, but... Okay. Um, let me see if I can respond to that. Oh, yeah, yeah, mana. No, no. oh uh, I'm sorry. I should say that a blue also... Okay. A blue to enchant- untap enchanted creature. 
A blue uh, enchanted creature gains flying until end of turn, and then a blue to give it hexproof, and then one generic mana, give it plus one, minus one, or minus one, plus one until end of turn. Uh, some wall flame. Oh, shoot. Yeah, you're targeting the enchantment, though, so that doesn't even matter. Yeah. All right, let me respond. With that on the stack, I'm going to untap a Rixmathese. And I'll generate infinite mana, infinite green mana with him. So I'll have a thousand green mana. <laughs> this is really terrifying. With that thousand green mana, God. Sheesh, nothing I can do. All right. Simon Zara goes away. Is it exiled? <laughs> uh, no, just destroyed. Destroyed. All right. That's in the yard. So then I'll cast a Birds of Paradise. Trigger Rixmathies. Nylea, Goddess of the Hunt. A Gilded Lotus. And Kodama's Reach. So Rixmathies is now a creature. Um, Fresh Maker points out that you couldn't have enchanted the I mean, Rixmathies while it was only a land. So that's a good point. All right, so we'll just shoot. Well, uh, since I know about your sundering growth, I'm just going to pretend that I don't know about it to repair yeah. the state of this game. And you could know about my Peminzora. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's do something more polite then. Put those cannons back on. <laughs> Uh, let's cast a Gilded Lotus. That's, that's four canners. Birds of Paradise. That's three canners. And Kodama's Reach. Alright. And then I will pass the turn. <laughs> Alright. Force of the Battlefield Island to my hand. <sighs> Drop the turn. Thanks for the catch there, Fresh. Left turn. Alright. Attempt number two. Bring back Yurid. How much do I need to bring now? I need. Plus two. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's a lot of ramp. So is Gerard coming up? No response. Yeah, I can't stop it. Don't look at me. Cool. I'm a blue player yeah. doing absolutely nothing blue. <laughs> we got a 4 4 Rhino coming out. Cool, cool. I'm going to move Looper. Lightning Greaves to Gerard. I'm going to swing. Five at Jake. I'm gonna swing for two commander damage at Chesh. And swing at Caitlin. Uh no any blocks. responses. Get a trigger. Second rhino comes out attacking. It's gonna be attacking Chesh as well. Okay, I'll go to twenty-nine. Wait, how much are you hitting That's... me for now? Uh six. How much were you hitting yeah. me for originally? Two? Two. And now four. Right. I don't have a second rhino token, so I'm just going to dice on it. Isn't that dumb that they only put one in the box? Uh, yeah. I had yeah. so many problems with, with last year's commander stuff when it was just like, oh, why, why don't I have enough tokens for this? <laughs> but I've got like five you've got, eggs. Yeah, because yeah. you've got all these eggs. Like... Cool, but what? I love this deck though. Oh, it's a cool deck. Don't get me wrong, but it's just like, yeah, it's a bit, a bit puzzling. I mean, I guess the whole the whole lot of the commander decks last year were a bit puzzling. This year's commander decks are looking so much better. Yeah, I haven't looked at any of the lists for this year's ones yet. Which reminds me, Caitlin hashtag sponsored. 
um, I have to post you a Commander 20 deck when it arrives. Thanks to Wizards. <laughs> oh, Congrats. Thanks. I need to pull the stream up so I can see everyone's live time. Yeah, I've got the stream up so I can read chat if nothing else. Yeah. Well, Jake's on 29, you're on 39, Caitlin's on 40, and I'm on 32. Alright, so Caitlin's winning, so we need to get rid of Caitlin now. <laughs> are you are you done? Is it Caitlin's turn? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah so. One of these runners is tapped. Uh, let's play a great funnus, everyone's favourite red artifact land. Is it is and it everyone's then... favourite because it's the only one? Maybe. I love it because you can make token copies of it. <laughs> oh, tokens. I think I will tick down to ready. Sacrifice me a retriever. Trigger on the stack. To get me a battle sphere back. And five diamonds to my hand. Mechanized art of <laughs> mechanized production and artifact land is absolutely batshit. I've done it before, it's great. It is. I did that on the last stream I was on. <laughs> um, where's my death box? I need to find my Mia token. Um, I have four Mia token, I will find a actual thing for them shortly. Um, and then actually do things with my mana since that is a thing I have access to. Congrats. Well, while you're doing all your stuff, I'm going to Mystical Tudor. Yeah. Fire Diamond tapped. Liquid Metal Coating, nothing to be scared about. And... pass. Well, lucky I did that at the right time. Skytrack claim to the top. Which means I'm taking yet another turn off. It's fine. It's fine. That's how the cookie crumbles, right? Go for turn. Flooded Grove. Pay for Sky Shroud Claim Pass the turn. Cast the Dalkin Orrery. Oh no. And trigger Rixmithies. I'll pass the turn. Alright. Untap. Alright, and. Draw. Alright. Play land for turn. Naya Panorama. And then... Play... White and green. Uh, Sander and Growth for Dalkinori. Um... Yeah. I'm gonna desertion that, which will just counter it. Worth a shot. Alright. And then... I'm gonna swing in... with everything. It's all coming at... What's everyone's life total again? 29. Alright. I'm on 32. Chesh, it's all coming at you. So, de after declare attackers, Gyrid's going to trigger, populate another Rhino. So that's 12, 13, 18, and 
So that's 20 damage coming at you, Chish. Sure. I'll go to 12. And... What was the point? Okay, cool. And Enton. That's a good draw. Is it still wearing? Uh, no, better than that. Uh oh. Soul brass knuckles? Charm damage monster of defiance. Ah, uh, nice. I gain a life. Chest? Yep, sorry, I'm here. Maybe I just didn't want to give you the extra life. I mean, understandable. I think I will go take up Chandra to generate true mana and then cast Volcanic Offering. In response? I tap, and I sack Naya Panorama. Uh, I need to choose targets first, but sure. Um, so, I am going to choose Arithmacies as the land and, I guess, Dylan's commander as the creature. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then... Uh, so, so... has Shroud. Oh, mm. okay. Um, How does right, Volcanic then. Offering read? Okay, so um, destroy target non-basic land you don't control and target non-basic land of an opponent's choice you don't control. And then same thing for 7 damage to a creature. So we start by, I choose two things and let's say Chess chooses two things. Okay. Is that what's happening? <laughs> yeah. Choose a land and choose a creature. Uh, I, I, I don't know. Um, so I have to sacrifice one of my lands or somebody else's land? No. So destroy target land I don't control uh -huh. and deal seven damage to target creature I don't control. Okay. Uh, but Dylan's all got basic land, so that doesn't help. Um, hey, Jake, what is that land underneath that dual land i've got rogue's passage all right let's blow up your rogue, rogue's passage okay and let's deal seven um, hmm? go ahead and let's deal seven damage to one of the rhinos all right cool. with that on the stack um i'm gonna tab a rixmethes and birds of paradise for a blue i'm gonna enchant birds of paradise with Peminzora. uh trigger a rixmethes He's now a creature. Is he still land on, in addition, or is he no longer a land? No. As long as he has counters, he's a land. But he doesn't okay. have <laughs> Sure. So, okay. uh, does the rest of the spell fizzle? No, because there's still at least one valid target. Okay. Yep. Uh, so, Rogue's Passage is down. Yay! And then, track task <laughs> and one beat. Sorry, what? Fact Tusk and one beast also die. Uh, you mean the runner? I already yes, killed one of the runners. Runners. Sure. Oh, so I get okay. a 3 3 beast now. Thank you. Yep. And then I think I'll just tick up the ready, discard a one, save a draw card. Ooh. Oof. Nothing scary. Tough card on stream. That. Uh, pass turn. Alright. Untap. Draw for turn. Uh, I think I'm going to have to. Four. Seven. I'm going to Nexus of Fate. <laughs> See if oh, that no. will help me to ramp. That's a good ramp spell. 
I, I count it as a technical ramp spell. I mean, most of the time yeah. I cast it just to give Dark myself an extra ramp. an extra turn. Not, not great when you're on 12 life, though, because I'd rather play something that, that's not killing me. Uh, I'll go to my second turn. Drop. That's also not really that helpful. Uh, I will go... Uh, blue, green, one. And I'll play a Shardless Agent. Uh, so it has Cascade. So when it casts a spell, I exile cards from the top of my library until I exile a non-land card that costs less. Uh, and then I can cast it without paying its mana cost, put the exile cards on the bottom. Uh, that's three, zero, zero. Come on, baby. Quailing Oracle. Okay. Well, I mean, you know, hashtag inherent value, I guess. Quelling Oracle. When the Oracle enters the battlefield, I really the top card of my library. If it's a land card, put it on the battlefield. Otherwise, put it in my hand. It is a land card. Nice. This is more what this deck is technically supposed to do, or at least assist with. Uh, one, two, three, four. Jace the Mind Sculptor. Okay. Um, so, what are we going to do here? I think we're just going to zero and draw three cards, which are basically going to brainstorm. One, two, three. I haven't played a land yet this turn, so that's good. Uh, Let's play a Sulphur Falls. Um, we'll pay two and we will... I don't like the infinite mana situation that's about to happen. So I'm going to lignify your Bird's Paradise. Okay. Um, what does that do? So it turns it into a zero for Tree Folk with no abilities. Okay. I'll just chuck that enchantment up there for now. Uh, and then I'll pass turn. Alright. Untap. Draw. I'll play a Reliquary Tower. His hand is about to get so big. I'll That's play what Nylia, she God said. of the Hunt. There's a Wog Roll if you. At least Six. you've dealt with Peminen Zolera. Well, technically speaking. <laughs> Get on some. Hmm. Alright, uh, Caitlin, do you have any blockers right now? Uh, yes, I have a 3-3 three, three Carthodon. I have a 4-7 Big Battle Sphere. And I have 4-1-1 one, one Mere Token. Got it, okay. Um, and then you just have the 3-3 three, three B still in? Dylan? Joe, what's up? <laughs> Just the 3-3 three, three beast? Uh, currently open, yeah. Okay. Hey, you guys aren't making it easy on me. I'll pass the turn. Awesome. I mean, I'm on 12 life, so I'm happy to have at least some blockers. <laughs> <laughs> I was starting to get a bit worried there about, uh, you know, Throw. dying. Okay. This is a card. Let's organize my lanes a bit better. Alright. Soul Ring, two planes, a mountain, a forest, Song of the World Soul. Nice. Whenever I cast a spell, populate. Alright. So, I'm going to end my turn. Caitlin. I will 
lot of mana because I can't think of anything better to do. And then turn that mountain into an artifact. Tick down to ready. Sacrifice my artifact mountain to put sure mine saver on the battlefield. What's the and activation cost on it? It is four tap sack. Okay. Speaking of, tap three more mountains. Sacrifice mine saver. I want to see Chesh actually do something. Oh, and by that, I mean I want to play Ch Chesh's deck for a turn. <laughs> you just had to play Mind Slaver in a webcam commander game. <laughs> a webcam <laughs> commander like... game. It wasn't something I planned, but I drew it because I forgot to take it out of the deck, and I'm playing it because I wouldn't not play it. All right, so how are we going to do this? Up. Because <laughs> um, you're just gonna have to. Everyone's just gonna have to see my hand. We we don't have a way around that unless yeah. I just like type it out to you and mute myself. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. We could go on the honor system. I won't look. <laughs> I guess we'll just have to do it that way. All right. Yeah. Tell me when to look back. Same. Are you okay, done then, Peyton? Um, <laughs> yeah, I'll pass into your turn. Alright, so... You untap my lands, you jerk. Yep. Oh, this is going to be hilarious. You draw my card. I am realising I can't actually read any of that yeah, anyway. I told you, that's... So... <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to have to tell you and everyone's going to hear it. So you've got a Plasm just Capture just... in hand. You've got a Hellkite Tyrant, which was I was going to play against you. Uh, search for yep. Canter and Temporal Trespass with three cards in the discard bar. Oh. Um, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pay one for the Mind's Eye to draw a card myself. Mm-hmm. Um... Yeah, this is specifically why I decided not to play yeah. any steals cards or anything like that. Like, there's no blatant oh, feathery right. in here, and because I took those cards out, I took out the <laughs> active trees and whatnot. I just forgot about mind slaver. <laughs> forgot. Um, <laughs> no, I actually jerk. did. I forgot about my infinite mana too. Whoops. Um, yeah, the reason we don't want to DM text it is because I'm legally blind and typing is a bit of a pain in the ass when you can't see what you're typing. <laughs> yeah. Asking Chester to type will take about five minutes. Yeah, it's, it's fun. That's why I always say I'm the talent. <laughs> um, so which is the planeswalker you've got there? Uh, Jace the Mind Sculptor. Sure. Um... I need to actually read the words of that. Alright, I can read it out to you. So, plus two, look at the top card of uh, target player's library, you can put that on the bottom. Uh, zero, draw three, put two cards from your hand on top of your library in any order. Minus one, return target creature to its owner's hand. Minus twelve, you'll never get there, so it doesn't matter. Yeah. <laughs> um, I think I either want to just scribe for myself... Well, or tick down and bounce the Arachmises. I was going to say, so if you tick down do and bounce Arachmises, that's probably the play. Yeah. Okay. Um, and um, then... Is, are you bouncing that to my hand right now? Yes. Alright. I'll tap it for a blue and a green. <laughs> and... Yeah. So... Uh, two green and X for Steelbane Hydra with two counters on it. Mm -hmm. And what Rick Smith will go to my hand. Sure. Here I was hoping you'd play something like Void Slime. <laughs> <laughs> you know what you could do? You could Plasm Capture that Hydra. <laughs> That would be naughty. Can't blame me. I'm not in control of my turn. 
Honestly, I think I do. Because I don't like you having counter spells and casting it on something that is worth casting it on. Steel Bane Hydra down. Yep. Um. And then after that, I could do acts that would probably end up with you dead, so I'm just going to pass turn. I'm Woo. nice and not going to make you plunge into a board that can kill it. Probably a good idea. Alright, so I will finally untap and take my goddamn turn. <laughs> uh, why are you getting an extra turn? Don't I take my turn after... Isn't no, that's that Oracle. Oh, does it... That's uh, Oracle. Never mind. It's Don't know what talking about. I'm still tapped out. All right. Yeah, it's Show Jake's time. time. Oh, okay. I could have um, at least played my search for his camp. Nasty on the board? Nothing overly huge. Okay. Everything is overly also, huge. Give me a battle sphere. Give me a battle sphere. Okay. What does battle sphere do? <laughs> it is a 4 7 when it enters the battlefield, they 4 1 1 mirror token. And when it attacks, I may tap X untapped mirror I control. If I do, it gets plus X plus O and deals X damage to the pending player. Uh. Clear says that I, I probably so could have just like. S SMS you a picture of my hand, which is true, but it would not have been as funny. Alright, yeah. I'm gonna pass the turn. I've got All a flash. Right. That you do. It's banned, don't you remember? <laughs> the entire mechanic. Draw for turn. Okay. Just like that time I flashed your mother one. <laughs> Someone had to go there. So... You say that, but I don't believe you. It's, it's why I don't own a trench coat. <laughs> huh. Yes, this is what I've got to do. So, tap two green, two white, and we'll be playing Trostani Selesnia's voice. Whenever another creature enters the battlefield under my control, I gain life equal to that creature's toughness. And for one, a green and a white, I can and I can tap it and populate. Any responses? No response. My response no. is the middle Song finger. Of... Song of the World Souls kind of trigger. <laughs> Gonna populate Rhino. I gain full life. All right. And then, I will... Huh. So... What have you got, Jake? You've got... Nylea, which is not a creature, and a 0-4. That I can right. pump uh, plus one, minus one. A 0-4 tree folk. Oh, of course. So I'm going to swing in. So two of these runners are coming at you while I'm still got psychic sickness. So all of these are coming at Jake. So okay. That's going to be two, five, six, twelve, plus another four, four. I'm so confused so, why you're attacking Jake 16. and not Caitlyn at this point. Because I don't want to get on a bad side. <laughs> okay. I'm always the enemy, never the threat. Um, Sets 16. I'm going to cast a Rixmathies. Jake, didn't you do a video on that? I sure did. That was my <laughs> most recent video. That's my motto. Um, and I'm hmm. going to gain another four from the Populate from Gerard Trigger. All right, I'm going to put Birds of Paradise in front of one of the biggest things, and then I take 12. Um, the biggest things are the 4-4 four, four Tramplers. 
Right. So I'll take 12 all day? Uh, you will take two, three, two, five, six, and then three of these. So three times four is 12. Take one is 11. So that's 15, I think. Sure. <laughs> 15 it is. I'll go to 14 and this will die. Or, you know what? I suppose I can pump it um, minus one plus one to give it five toughness so it'll survive. So we'll do that. Okay. Anything else? In, in that case, you only took 12, I think. All right, so I would be 17 then. <laughs> Yep. Flashing has been banned for many years, Chesh says Freshmaker. <laughs> I I agree. Ask your mum. And I actually wasn't gonna go back to the well, but now I will. <laughs> Cal Uh, check up Chandra to Xlarval dot kind of my library. It is a skyline despot. I think I will cast that. For one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. For a five-five flying dragon, when it enters the battlefield, I become the monarch. And at the beginning of my upkeep, if I'm the monarch. Put a 5-5 five, five red dragon token on flying onto the battlefield. Ooh wee. Also Chesh, mm -hmm. uh, I'm at 47. I was going to ask about that before, but uh, no one told me, so I was just like, eh, whatever. Uh, so I'm going to play Ghost Quarter. I am then going to think menacingly about ghost quartering your erectancies. And... It would make sense and it wouldn't hurt my feelings. Yeah. Uh, tick up Doretti, back to five. Discard two lands I don't care about, so I'll cards. Sure. Uh... With that, I think I pass the turn. Draw for Monarchy. Woo! Alright, untap. Draw. Look at me, actually, apparently taking a turn. Allegedly. Hmm. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, let's do it. Uh, so I'm gonna part the water veil awakened. Wow. What would that do? Give me an extra turn and a six six land token. If you cast a spell nice. for uh, put six plus one plus one counters on target land you control, yeah. All right, so it's a six six elemental land. Uh. Maybe I'll go squatter that instead. And then exile. Well, I mean, you do you. Depends if it comes at me or not. That, that is always a question, isn't it? Um, hey, Caitlin, your flyer? Uh -huh. I'm going to tick down yes. and bounce that flyer back to your hand. Sure. Which one, the token or the... Well, the token doesn't exist yet. Oh. Tokens on my upkeep. Yeah. Okay. Uh, then I'll take my second turn. Yep. Untap. Draw. <laughs> okay, great. Um, let's... Three... Five... Seven... Nexus of Fate. <laughs> I'll take another extra turn. I see what this deck does. Nothing! Absolutely nothing. 
powerfully. <laughs> uh, we're going to... I think we're going to... Tick up. We're going to look at the top card of Caitlin's deck. Yeah. It is Tybalt Rakish Instigator. Yeah, leave that on top. Uh, which, what, what creatures do you have out at the moment? You've got a Mew Battlesphere, is that right, Caitlin? Yep, so Mew Battlesphere, Cathodian, or Mew Tokens. Mm-hmm. Uh, Dylan, what have you got untapped creature-wise at the moment? Untapped creature-wise, I've got Tristani and a 4-4 Trampler. How big is Tristani? Uh, 2-5. Okay. Right. Uh, then, Dylan, I'm going to declare an attack on you for 6 with my land. Sure. I will take six. Yep. Uh, four, five, six. Okay, uh, I will start my next turn. Untap. Draw. Play a Temple of Epiphany. Let's scry. Hmm. Yeah, I think you can go to the bottom. Uh, okay, so we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, delving, that's seven, that's eight, blue, 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 we're going to temporal trespass, I'll take an extra turn after this one. Well, that's fine. So... So, are you going infinite at all? No, no, this doesn't go infinite. This has no infinite about it. It just has a couple of ways to get some extra turns. It never stops going. Yeah, pretty it much. It just doesn't stop. It's not infinite, it just doesn't stop. Uh, we are going to... We're casting seven mana spells that say, activate Jace again. Yeah, pretty much. So I'm going to activate Jace, I'm going to draw three. One, two, three. And then we're going to put it back on top... Probably ready to play the land for this turn. So you can go back on top. You can go back on top. We tapped our lands wrong, but that's fine because we're going to get another turn after this anyway. Um, hey, Dylan, I'm going to attack you for six again. Okay. I, I, I will eat six. I'm going to pump that creature plus two plus two with Nailia. Nice. One, two, I will take eight. Four, five, six, seven, eight. I will start my next turn. Untap. Draw. The sad sound of silence. Red. Red. And... Four. Five. Six. Hellkite Tyrant. Okay. So, Hellkite Tyrant is... A 6-5 Flying Trample. Whenever Hellkite Current deals combat damage to a player, gain control of all artifacts that player controls. At the beginning of my upkeep, if I control 20 or more artifacts, I win the game. Sadly, doesn't have haste. Would have liked to have played that last turn, to be honest. Uh, I'm going to pay 2. And I'm going to play a Search for as Uh Hey, Dylan. Hey. I'm going to attack you for six. You remember when you uh, hit me all the way down to 12? No, it doesn't tramp. Block okay. it on one if you want. Um, now nah, I'll take six. Yep. Sure. Two. Dylan's now down to 27. You're welcome, everyone. Uh, and I will... Pass the turn. After taking like sure? four or five turns. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I think there's still like a uh, Nexus of Fate and one other thing in here that can let me take turns. So. <laughs> um, I am going to. I actually, should have played phase... with Megosi. Main phase, I'll cast Factor Fiction. And let's see. Caitlin, I'm going to choose you. Uh, 
All right. So we got Swiftfoot Boots, Enderace Forerunners, Sakura Tribelder, Slimvoto of the Rising Deep, and a Civic Slime. Um, I, I think I give you um, Forerunners and Acidic Slime against the other three. Okay. Um, yeah. I'll put the other three in the yard and I'll take those two. And tough choices. I'm gonna have to pass the turn. All right. Don't tap. Yeah, so part, trigger of, on the risk of these. part of the thought of this deck was if I could get Intet to cast the Take It Turn spells for free, then you can just like hit somebody, take another turn, and hit them again, and then get another spell. Ah. Yeah. It's kind of like the hidden sub theme is I like turns. Can I have them all? <laughs> I, that's the kind of thing that got my Narset ban, my Narset deck banned from my playgroup. <laughs> yeah, but your deck's generally speaking. I can see why. Alright. Going to move to combat. Alright. Everything's coming at Caitlin. So it's 16, 17, uh, 19, 21, 23, and then populate. So I gain full life. Twenty-three plus four is twenty-six. Seven. Twenty-seven. Uh, it has some points, you. Sorry. Does it have trample? Uh, the rhinos do. Okay. So, I will throw four mirror under the bus to block the rest of it. All right. Actually, uh, in what's, response, what's the artifact creature there? Artifact creature. It is Scatilla. Yeah, so what's his power on toughness right now? Uh, one and four. Don't worry about it fresh. There is an Atali in here as well. Just for you. Um, Speaking of which, he I'll... triggers. Yeah. And I get Naya Panorama back in the battlefield tapped. Sure. I'm going to block the um, Skitella with the Battle Sphere. And three me around to the rest. Right. In response, I'm going to tap Soul Ring and... Planes play root worn defenses. I populate, mm -hmm. so I'm gonna get another. I just Rhino. have to AFK for second water. Be happy. Yep. All good. We now have two tapped runners and two untapped runners. Yep. Yep. I've, no, I've got five tapped, one untapped. You populated at the start of combat, which also couldn't have been attacking. Uh, it, it enters attacking. Oh, sure. Okay. Um, and all my creatures are indestructible till end of turn. Sure. That's mostly so... frustrating. So what damage did I do? <laughs> uh, you deal damage equal to the rhinos. And just the rhinos. Alright. So... Five times four is twenty. So twenty damage. Yep, I take twenty. Did you miss me? Another four. <laughs> yeah. So. All right. So was there some life adjustments? Yeah. So I, I did 20. twenty to Caitlin, and I'm back up to thirty-five. Okay. Whoop, wrong way. And then I will tap a mountain. Actually, no, I can't. Never mind. Uh, turn. Sure. I think you've got that right. You're on 21 now, Caitlin. Is that right? Yep. 
Okay. That is correct. It's like I never left to go and get water like an unprofessional bastard. <laughs> So Jake, is MTG tonight going to be restarting at some point? Uh, no, that show is a huge pain in the butt. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to produce. Dylan, you are now the monarch. Draw a card at the end of your show. Ooh. Yeah, take that. Draw a card, you jerk. Thank you. <laughs> I can't think of a single gonna... deck that Caitlyn owns where Caitlyn doesn't at some point become the monarch. Because that's a good mechanic. It is a good mechanic. And I, I have Throne of a High City in every one of my decks because mm -hmm. it's a card that goes in every commander deck ever. Um, I'm casting Tybalt. Tybalt, oof. A 5 volty Planeswalker that says opponents can't gain opponents life. Opponents can't gain life. And I don't care about the down tick. Which is why I'd like to top. sit here and just stop Dylan from gaining more life <laughs> because you're gaining too much life. Um, what's Tibble's loyalty? Uh, five. Tick up Chandra. Can chat request the new gear library reduction massively? Um, no. I may cast the uh, the mountain. No, I can't. So deal two damage to each opponent. I'm at seventeen or fifteen. Thirty-three. Tick up to ready. I'm on ten. He's now on seven. I discard two mountains. Draw two cards. Uh... <laughs> also, Chesh, I gained one life for casting Tip Hall. Oh, all right. You may not have it to twenty two. <laughs> Only unfortunate. I passed turn. All right. I will untap, upkeep, search for Escanta. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that can go in the discard pile. That's for sure. Draw a card. Graveyard. Ah, uh, pay one life. Draw a card. Just pay one mana. Mm -hmm. Not much Um. What do I even want to do with this? To be honest. Bra bra bra. I'm going to pay three, and I'm going to play a Trinket Mage. Search one library for an artifact card with a converted mana cost of one or less. Why am I even doing this? I have no idea. I'll go and get my Soul Ring. Nice. It's just, it doesn't, doesn't really have a purpose, <laughs> like, this late in the game, but, uh... Hashtag extra mana, I guess. You'd always use more mana. Uh, so we'll play it. Ugh, my land is everywhere now. This is horrible. Um, Caitlin, do you have any flyers at the moment? I do not. Okay. Well, that's that's a good sign. Um, hmm. There's stuff everywhere that I don't like. And apparently there is air traffic. Dylan is the most scary in my eyes right now. I'll zero Jason draw some cards. Yeah. Alright, so what's on the board that's scary that we can actually get rid of? Um Caitlin's pretty scary. Jake's pretty scary. I mean, you're the scariest, really. <laughs> Let's be honest. I don't think so. Oh, I really think so. Your Trostani gives everything lifelink, right? No. That's not the, it's the other Trostani, okay. Um, and you have your commander out? And it's got yes. some boots on it? It does. That's interesting. It's got some greaves on it. 
I mean, it had some grapes on it. Oh, yeah? I'm going to beast within your graves. Okay, what'd that do? Destroy target permanent. You get a 3-3 green beast creature token. I do? Yep. Oh, awesome. Uh, I wouldn't be saying that. I'll pay three, and I'll imprison your commander in the moon. Nice. Screw you, hippie. That's what you get for doing all that damn damage to me. Such a jerk. So... What, what's it's down up. it's it's so imprison the moon is an enchant uh, creature land or planeswalker enchanted permanent is a colorless land with tap to add one colors to your mana pool it loses all okay. other card types and abilities it is quite literally a blank land <laughs> uh cool so i don't think i want to do that yet um Caitlin, what artifacts do you have out at the moment? Oh, you got heaps. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So I have okay. Cathodian, Battle Sphere, four mirror tokens, Fire Diamond, Mind's Eye, Little Metal Coating. Cool. So I'm going to declare my attack. I'm going to attack Caitlin with the Hellkite Tyrant, and I'm going to attack uh, Dylan with my 6 6 Elemental Land. Alright, I will block, or I will chump with one of the Rhinos. Yep, yeah, sure. So, Caitlin? How much? How big is that dragon? It's a 6-5. Hmm. With trample. Uh, I'm going to cast Corrupted Conscience uh -oh. on that dragon. Or the flyer, whatever it is. Uh-huh. What does Corrupted Conscience do? Uh, I control it now, and, and it has Infect. Right. Oh. Okay. <laughs> That's brilliant. That is incredibly scary, but also I am glad that is not hitting me this turn. It is probably <laughs> hitting me next turn. No, it's hitting me next turn. Yeah. It's hitting sure. somebody. So you now own my tyrant, is that right? Yes. Yeah, I'll represent it with the enchantment. Yep, yeah, cool. I will just chuck this in my exile zone. Cool. Uh, in that case. I will pass the turn from there. All right, I'll untap. Uh, can you familiarize me with the tyrant? Sure. So it is flying and trample to six five for six mana, so two red and four colors. When it deals combat damage to a player, gain control of all artifacts that player controls. At the beginning of your upkeep, if you control twenty or more artifacts, you win the game. Okay. Um. I'm going to tap Rick's with these, and then... I think you might be trying to outright kill one of us here. This kind of mana, and cast Rishkar's Expertise, mm -hmm. and trigger Rick's with these. Uh, I'll draw six cards, and I can put a permanent fiberless from my hand without paying his mana cost. Uh, Acidic Slime. When it enters the battlefield, <laughs> I am going to destroy um, um, Ghost Porter. Turn... Before you cast that, I'm going to make okay. an offer to you. I have okay. a criminal coding. I can turn anything on the battlefield into an artifact. Ah, interesting. Um, yeah, I can't take the deal. Uh, I need to destroy the... I need to, you know, force your hand here. Blow it up, blow it up, kill the commander. Yeah, blow it up. <laughs> I imagine you mean a Rex with these, right? Yeah, yes. Yeah. All right, it is blow it up. Uh, it's a shame, because I would rather have held it up to the 6-6, six, six, but... Yeah. Um, okay, so then I draw six cards. Uh, you do get to search for basic before you do that. Do I? Okay. Um, I've already drawn the cards. Does anyone care? Oh, I don't care. No. no. Is it on the battlefield tapped? Yep. Okay. Grab an island. Uh, not tapped, just onto the battlefield. Ooh, interesting. Yeah, I was going to say, that's one of the downsides of why it's played in modern, but still isn't widely played in modern. Yeah. Because there's targets, and then there's uh, not many targets. 
that you want to give your opponent that advantage for. I'm so okay. happy I don't grind anymore. <laughs> Same. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to cycle a Tranquil Thicket. Draw a card. Yeah, that sucks. Uh, and I'll play Mystifying Maze. That is mystifying. Six mana left. I'm just waiting for I get to Fairy's Puzzle Box. Oh my god. I'm gonna cast my commander for six. Alright. And go to attacks. Caitlin, coming in the air. With a 6 5 that's gonna steal all your artifacts. Yeah. Within fact, stop it. Isn't it a shame you don't have anything that you could maybe sacrifice all your artifacts to? <sighs> <laughs> yeah. Um, you get it. All right. Um, so, what are the artifacts? Cathodian? Yeah, so Cathodian, uh, Mere Battle Sphere. Four one one mere tokens. Okay. A mind's eye. What does mind's eye do? Uh, whenever an opponent casts, a, whenever an opponent draws a card, you may pay one. If you do, draw a card. Okay. Liquid metal coating. Metal coating. And a fire diamond. And fire diamond reduces spread spells by one. No, no, it's Other just one. tap, add, red. Tap, red, red. Tap, add, red. Ooh, does that help? No, it sure doesn't. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm going to pass the turn. Okay. Yep. That's when you draw a card, I can pay one and draw a card as well. Yes. Okay, I'm going to do that with my fire diamond. Frequent wasteland in a modern. <laughs> All right. So, uh, yes, play that was that was pretty much it. That was the plan. All right. So we're gonna have two beasts. How, also, how much? What's that? Give me five poison counters. Uh, I don't know how to on this without being upgraded. Ah. Yeah. Uh. Was it six damage or did you prevent one? Oh, six then. Yeah. No, you're right. How much loyalty does Tybalt have? Five. Five? Alright. So we'll send these oh, two sorry. three to be I missed a great furnace. Oh, so I have a great furnace. Yep. You perhaps it is the greatest so. furnace. <laughs> I'm gonna send six at Tibalt. Yep. And gonna swing uh, twenty twenty one at your face. Okay. Wow. wow. Okay, Tibalt dies and I'm on one life. All right, and then I'm slightly confused why you didn't just kill me. I, I I thought you had twenty left. It doesn't matter at this. Point. Um, <laughs> then I will play land for turn. It will be Terramorphic expanse. And then, um, I should have played that prior. Doesn't matter. Here we go, two planes and soul ring. And I will play Commander's Insignia. Creatures get 1-1 one, one for each time I've passed my Commander from the Command Zone. So, 2-2. Two, two. Yep. And then... Uh, 2 green. And 2 of whatever. And I'll play Growing Ranks. The beginning of my upkeep populate 
and populate twice because of Song of the World Soul. So I gain two Rhino tokens. So I now have seven Rhino tokens. And I gain eight life. Oh boy. Uh, you don't gain any life. In le oh, is, yeah, I do. is the gone? Oh. Yeah, you're on 41. That's the thing that happened. <laughs> And then I will end step sack uh, Panorama and I'll sack Terrific Expanse as well and I'll be getting two plants. Assuming I have two plants left. And then it's your turn, Caitlin. Yep. I am tapped significantly less. <laughs> tapped and get rid of the turn. I'm going to pay and draw as well. Yep. That have been tapped. I've tapped. I think... I... 6 mana cast Combustible Gearhulk. Ooh. Um... Dylan. Yo. Do I draw three cards, or do I don't move for the um, combined, combined with the converted mana cost of them? Up to you. Take the damage. No, so, take the damage. Um, take when the you damage. combustible gear enters the battlefield, target opponent may have you draw three cards. If they don't, put the top three cards in my library into their into my graveyard, and it deals damage equal to the converted mana cost of those cards to your face. Uh, you can have three cards. Thank you. Uh, that's not helpful. Um, take it off to ready, I think. Let me look at my graveyard. Yeah, take up to ready. So, Gear is just a land that cats tell colors currently, isn't yeah. he? Discard a mountain and limestone. Draw two cards. Uh, there is nothing good on the battlefield. So, take up Chandra. Exile holds not a dragon. And deal two damage to my ground. I go to 13. Yep. Pass turn. Yep. I go to 8. Uh, yep. Wait. I just actually looked at my card. I had enough to ultimate her, and I should do that instead. Well, in exile the card, I know I can't cast. Although this does mean that I immediately become the enemy, because I now have... It says... Um, whenever I cast a spell, it deals five damage to target creature or player. I think you're very much the enemy already. <laughs> I'm on one life. I was dead before I untap. Yeah. This does not change that. Well, now you're gonna uh, be extra dead. You done? Yeah, go. Alright. Untap. Draw. Uh, I'm gonna zero and draw three. Then I'm gonna... back on the top. That didn't help. I forgot to do this, which is stupid. Um, hmm. Let me think. Probably actually should just bounce that. Nah, that's stupid. Let's go one, two, four. I'm going to use Castle Vantress. I'm going to scry two and put them straight to the bottom. Because we know what's up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm going to pay one and I'm going to brainstorm. One, two, three. Oh, that could be hilarious. 
One, two, three, four, five, six. We could. I feel like I've got to do it. Hmm. You have to do? Tap seven mana. Uh oh. Tyrant no. of Discord? Targeting Dylan? That's not what I thought it was going to be. So, when, when Tyrant of Discord enters the battlefield, Target opponent, being you, chooses a permanent that you control at random and sacrifices it. If it's a non-land permanent, you repeat this process. Alright, so permanent I control, so... So, at two, random, three, four, yep. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I counted that right. So I'll just roll a d20, I guess, and then I'll just count two. So one of my beasts dies. Okay, so do it again. Uh, wait, non-land permanent? Yeah, if a non-land permanent is sacrificed this way, repeat. 19. Nine, 12, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. One plane's gone. Sure. Uh, okay, so Caitlin, you've got one creature out? Yes. It is a 6 6, six, six with first strike. If you kill her, then all of. The permanence that Jake has basically go away. I know, I if just want to kill Caitlyn kill her, because... <laughs> you stand a chance to win, because I will help you take out Dylan. I'll pass the turn. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Oh, oh, it's yeah. the one time I really wanted to kill Caitlyn so bad. I actually had the means to do it. We're going to play a thespian stage. Um, Calm down, Shakespeare. Dylan, do you have any flyers? Negative. Alright, I'm gonna go to attacks, and I'm gonna spend 8 mana to make this a 10-10. And take you out with Infect. Ooh! I did not see any that response? coming. I, I, I play my hand. <laughs> Deal, alright. Alright, Caitlin. Uh, I suppose make good choices. Um, pass the turn. A trigger on our expertise. Or no, not a trigger. Okay. How do I make this work? I play a land for turn. On your draw, I'm going to pay one. And yep. Draw. Yep. So, I feel like the best thing I can do is try to kill Jake <laughs> and get my stuff back. No, it makes sense. Um, also, I need to kill the dragon. How big is the dragon? It's a 6-5. Sure. So, ideally, I cast four spells this turn and I am good. Uh, so, mm. One, five, six, seven, eight, nine men are available. I should have discarded differently last turn. Uh, okay. <laughs> mm. No, 
nice, Dylan. Nice. So, Caitlin, if you uh, were to be interested in Chesh dying, I might <laughs> be able to help with that a little bit. Yeah. In much the same way that I did uh, our friend Dylan here. Hmm. And it seems you kind of have an instant speed solution to me. Probably. Uh, I wish I did. But at the moment, no. Um, I have sorcery speed solutions to you, but that doesn't really help. Hmm. Kill him. If I kill him, you just kill me. Kill him. <laughs> you're, you're picking who wins. You're the kingmaker. <laughs> yeah. Either way, you're dead. Well, technically, Jake was the kingmaker. Jake was the one that set all the wheels in motion. Yeah. I suppose. Uh... <laughs> Kill him! <laughs> mm. So, four mana, cast Khan, Sign of Urza. Deal five damage to... Yourself. <laughs> Not myself. That's that's a valid um, target. <laughs> I need to make the decision, don't I? Mm-hmm. You sure do. Uh okay. Five damage to Chesh. Ooh. I mean really, who didn't see that coming? I didn't see that coming. <laughs> Trust me, I'm blind and I can see that coming a mile away. <laughs> tick up put tick up Khan, push. Um, Rue Medallion into my hand and Solemn into Exile with a Silver Counter. It was not overly obvious. I, I had options. <clears throat> um, and it's like the reason I'm killing you is basically <laughs> lets me deal with the dragon. All right. Which doesn't actually help, because I'm still dead. But... Um, also, I gain one life. For all the good it does me. Drat. Uh, two mana, Rue Medallion, deal five damage to Chesh. You jerk. I'm just waiting for someone to just go, and shock. <laughs> And yeah, I think that's probably game. Um, but yeah, let's see. What do you have on board, Jake? I've got uh, Dalkinori, Nylea, Eryxmethes, the six five six slime, a zero four that I can pump. Oh. Uh, the 6-5 is gone. Because Chesh oh, left the game. He's dead now? I yes. see. Interesting. Okay. Uh, I'm going to be honest. I remember Mirror Battlesphere. I remember the one that taps for a red. Uh -huh. uh, the one that I can uh, pay one whenever you draw. And I can draw. Yep. Cathodian. Yep. Uh, four mirrors. And Liquid Kill Metal Coding. Mirrors. Yes. I think that's all of them. That is all of them. Uh, honestly, I think you have me dead without what I do. So... Um, your biggest creature is... The... Uh... Um, the battle sphere. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, is there anything that I can hit for five and kill? Uh, acidic slime, this thing, uh, and that's about it. The mirrors. Yeah, there is nothing good for me to do on my turn. Um,.
Yeah, good game. Uh, I will cast Magma Quake X4, well, X2, and take myself out. Oh. Didn't even let me end race four runners with the four runners you gave me. Nope. That's dying with honor. <laughs> Death with dignity. That's what that means, right? Boom. All of the death. All of it. Good game. Good game. It was a good game. How we how we all feeling? I Fine. think right. I've got one more in me. Sweet. Hmm. So probably you were giving me shit for playing the Bind Slaver, and then you play the dragon that of course. Like, take your entire board. <laughs> well, I wasn't expecting anyone to have more than like one artifact to be honest. It's only in here so I can steal soul rings to help me ramp. <laughs> Just turned out for once the it was deck actually useful. specifically built to steal sorry. It, it has it has I think three cards in here specifically to steal sorry. Yes, which is pretty great. All right. Um, That's a nice I might mute myself for a second and grab a secondary commander deck. From I will do the same. Final. So I will be back in one. To go and talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> Dylan, you still there? Yeah, I'm here. Seen any good movies? Lately? I think the last movie I went and saw was Sonic. <laughs> <laughs> I'd imagine you're not going to see movies. But uh... Oh, I'd want tickets to go see the new My Hero Academia movie, and then everything got shut down. So, <laughs> so I take that as a, a no. You would be correct. What about you? Uh, i seen bad movies. I saw Julie and Julia recently, and I hated it. Uh, <laughs> to some degree. I don't know. I guess I had fun also. My fiance is giving me a stink eye now because I <laughs> said I hated it. Whoops. Uh, So I think I am going to bowl some elves. See, I, I can't remember what my game plan was for this deck, so we're all <laughs> going to find out together. I very clearly remember what this deck is all about. I think this is just cool dragons. I'm going to take my mulligan now. That hand was terrible. Ah, it is my triumphant return. I have returned with a slightly upgraded Estrid deck. An upgrade, or no? Yeah, it's, it's basically the precon with a couple of small upgrades in it. Which I am absolutely fine with. This is actually uh, my partner Hayden's deck, so... I've played it a couple of times, and it uh, it's 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 not terrible. It's, it's quite good, I like That's it. That's good to hear. Hmm. Maybe I should switch out of uh, Eldrazi Tribal. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, that is be, beautiful. It might be a little too much. Wait, is that Thanos? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Alright, so we should be. We should roll off to see who goes first again. Ooh, I rolled 11. 
You need me to roll for you, Dylan? Yes, please. I got five. Seven. Dylan got nine. All right, I'm going first for once. That's actually quite nice. I'm actually going to play Brutaclad Telcor Engineer. Brutaclad? I love Brutaclad. Oh yeah, so who else Who else is playing what? Uh, I'm playing Nicobolus the Ravager. I'm on my fairly stack. Oh, God. I don't think I've ever shown up on stream. You sure about that? I'm pretty sure, yeah. Like... Mid mid last year or the year before, wasn't it? I'm sure that we had it on on stream. Maybe we didn't. Maybe we did it as an off stream. Oh, we did it at the GP where when we could yeah. where we we lost all that recording that we did. Uh, Melbourne, yeah, sure. Melbourne GP. I will keep. I'm yeah. Keep. Come on, I have lambs. That. And yeah, this hand seems solid. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's just no. Wow. Even these pre the commander precons with the planeswalker face card weren't great. <laughs> what do you A think? handful of like it? six casting cost cards. Yeah, go for it. I'm gonna say yes because I can't see it. <laughs> It was all uh, I was flashing uh, my terrible fake lands. Wow. Oh, I, I, I can join you. I honestly can't and, uh, tell with the webcams. I know, right? Honestly, in this webcam era, I should totally put these in my Jota deck. They don't look bad. Yeah, fresh. It was the same. That's the Freely stick. It's gotten scarier since then. Yeah, it is. Wow. This... Did I tell you that I got a cradle? Now it's even That's scarier than it was. Great. Excellent. This has land clumps like I have never seen before. And none of those lands went into my hand. So this is how I die. Landless. <laughs> Better than legless. I don't know. I wouldn't mind being, you know, dying as a very cute elf. <laughs> ah! Ah! <laughs> I am terrible. I feel like my deck needs to be shuffled more. I don't know why. <laughs> I feel like this is this is why I don't like playing other people's decks. And that chest is the odd one out. I think I'm gonna have to go down to six. Wow. It had two lands, one of them was a bounce land and the other one was a hideaway land. <laughs> That's not the best. Really. Alright, great, we'll take this. Gay lands. Uh alright, so draw for turn. We're gonna play Forest past the turn. I like your Draw style, one. dude. Uh, command tower, pass. Draw. Yeah. Right. Remy, um, 1999, thank you very much for the follow. Island. Tap. Oh, weird. My, <laughs> my stream just popped up with a, a weird promo arena code. So, someone grab that. <laughs> I haven't seen one of those pop up in a while. So, instant mana source or sorcery? Can I am my turn? Uh, you can start your turn, I'm just looking. Sure. <laughs> so, forest, cup. 
the flowers go? Right. Capital flowers. Always good. Um, let's have a look here. Blah, blah, blah. I think... This is an option. Planes. I think I'm going to play SRAM and pass the turn. Draw. I'll play Great Furnace and pass. Alright, well, I'm still looking for that. Screw it. My, my pick for the Mystical Tear is Chaos Warp. That's a good choice. That's always a solid choice. Unless it's going to be aimed at my poor SRAM. Dwarves did nothing wrong! Nothing wrong! <laughs> did you just mystical tutor for a chaos board? Yes. Did. Oh my goodness. Don't worry, there's no reason for it currently. It was just the shiniest thing I could find. <laughs> well, I'm just thinking, what's in your hand if that's what you're tutoring for? I mean, Honestly, cool. it is Nicobola's deck. Evil. Alright. Draw the 10. I hope you've got that, uh, the, the black Nicobolas card in there from war. Was it war? Torment of Hailfire? Uh, no, no, the one that lets you get four cards back. Uh oh. Well, two cards if you don't. No. Yeah, what's it called? Deliver unto evil? That's the one. Deliver unto evil. Hashtag Spider-Man reference. And... Pass the turn. Yep. Uh, beginning of my first main phase, I'll look at your island in one green matter. <laughs> Sorry, what was that? I get a green mana because you have an island. Oh, cool. Because then, then flowers are a carpet. <laughs> Let's play a high market. And then... I think a turn to Imperius Prefect is... Decent. What does Imperius do Prefect do again? It's a um, two true elf with other elves gain plus one plus one, and tap green create a one one elf. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. And then I'll pass turn. Sweet. Untap. A drawy lorries. Let's have a look here. Hmm. Yes. Play an island. I'm gonna tap the forest and the island and enchant my planes with a fertile ground. Uh, so, because it's Nora, I draw a card. Whenever enchanted land is tapped for mana, its controller adds an extra additional mana of any one color. Uh, and I'm going to do this now, even though it feels like a waste, but I'm going to absolutely swords your bloody elf to the <laughs> ether. <laughs> no, no elf generator for you right now. Uh, and then I'm going to also attack you for two, Caitlin. Sure. I can go back down to 40. Yep. Actually, no, in where high mark was tapped. Yeah. Yep. Cool. Everything happens. All right. I will pass the turn. Rude. And I'll play a gargoyle castle, tap three for a worn power stone, and pass turn. Alright. Draw for ten. Alright. So. I will play luxury suite. Taps a black or a red. Enters the battlefield tapped unless I have two or more opponents. And. Best lands ever done. One, two, three. Still don't know why they're not in the bloody precons, to be honest. Yeah. I will pass turn. Oh, 
also I'm getting one green mana from an island. So let's. What do you, what do you have currently on the field there? I have three lands and, and a carpet, carpet of flowers. flowers. What's, what's the carpet of flowers? At the beginning of my main phase, I may add up to X mana of one to your mana pool, where X is the number of islands target opponent controls. Is it an enchantment or an artifact? Or... Enchantment. Enchantment. Okay. From Urza's Destiny, from memory? Or was it Legacy? Uh, I think it's Saga. Saga? Oh, Gears, yeah. Yeah. Uh, let's bend the floating green on a Sylvan Safekeeper. And then Metallic Mimic Naming Elves. Nice. Watch my okay. surprise. Uh, yep. What's that do? Type like that. Uh, so as it enters the battlefield, choose a creature type. It is the chosen creature type in addition to its other types. And each other creature I control of a chosen type into the battlefield with an additional plus one plus one counter on it. So is that an artifact creature? Yes. Yes. Artifact creature, shapeshifter elf. Kill it. Alright, your response. Pay one life. And a Rakdos charm it. Uh, what's that do? Uh, choose one. Exile all cards from target player's graveyard, or destroy target artifact, or each creature deals one damage to its controller. I will sack it time, I could gain on life. Continue. Yep. Uh, I'm done. Sweet. Untap. And drop. Ooh. Chesh, I gained one life. Oh. You didn't get any life. No one wants you to gain life. Dirty elves. You're banned from life. Elves banned from life, for life, from life. Um, so I'm going to tap full mana, and I'm going to Astrid, because surprise, surprise. Uh, and then I'm going to plus two to untap my enchanted land. Yay for untapping enchanted permanents. Um, hmm. Mm -hmm. We are going to play a Selesnia Sanctuary returning the island to my hand. Uh, then we're going to tap this for a white, and I guess a white, not that it matters, for a Soul Snare. I don't believe we get to draw. No, I don't. Awesome. Uh, and then, Kate, oh, how big is that creature you got there, Caitlin? It's one one. Oh, cool. Uh, I'll take it for two. I'll take the two, down to 39. Yep, pass the turn. Untap, draw. Hashtag, keep an elves in check. <laughs> huh. I'll play an arcane lighthouse. And I'll play a trading post. And I'll pass the turn. Alright. Untap. Upkeep. Draw. Yes. Command tower. Alright. That's one, two, three, four. Cool. Enter. Yep. Just thinking, I don't think I have any mask tokens. I don't know where they are. Um, I assume there's still only one island on the battlefield. Just one. Yeah. Correct. So, like that, like that. Play Vivian. Who enters on four. I will tip her up to give my safekeeper vigilance. And then... Dylan for one.
Elf's turn. Alright. Oh, untap. Get my door card there. Draw card. Ooh, okay, sure. Um, I am going to blah, 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 play a Hall of Heliod's Generosity. Hmm. Nothing I do makes sense. None of it matters. What am I even doing with my life? You're playing a children's card game on the internet. This is not a children's card game. Um, I guess we're just gonna mask something. Yeah, I guess we're just going to uh, tick down to four and mask SRAM. That's just a mask token. What's the mask? Uh, it's, masking something so here? it's a totem armor and I'm gonna bring it up because it's like if it would die, something, something. Uh, if it would die, remove counter and. Keep it on the battlefield or something. Something like that. But it also had a, a other thing. The enchanted permanent would die, sacrifice the totem armor instead. Yeah. And I'll pass turn. What does Soul Snare do? Uh, it is one white and sacrifice Soul Snare, exile target creature that's attacking you or a planeswalker you control. I'm gonna activate trading post, pay one life, make a goat, and untap, draw. I'll play an island. Seven mana. Wow, your video became real choppy for some reason. It's the same on my end. Uh, mine is choppy? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yours, you, your yeah. frames are like. Choppy on my end, too. You're yeah. dropping frames. Yeah, let me do that. Uh, here we go. Hey. Yeah. All right. Uh, three mana. I'll cast. Um, oh, jeez. How do we do this? Let's do. With not a degree of difficulty. Um, <laughs> Lannery storm, with these, and I'll cackling counterpart the goat token, main phase because that's. How I do things, I suppose. Go to attacks. Um, Dylan, come at you for two, and I'll make a treasure token. And after that, I'll pass the turn. Okay, draw a card. Captain right. Lannery Storm being dark and stormy. Ancient Tomb. Tap all, take three, and we're gonna play Laughless Dragon Queen. Oof. Wow, that uh, that that's the thing that happened. <laughs> Turn. I could play my commander, or I could do something that I know Chess will hate. Chess will hate Um, who has the most islands? I, I have, have one, one island. Sure, I'm getting one. Is one, two, 
Plague Hall of Gemstone, which is a very fun card. Yeah. There's a world encampment. At the beginning of each player's upkeep, they choose a color. Until the end of their turn, every land on the battlefield produces that color instead of any other. So on my upkeep, I'll choose green, and all lands on the battlefield, including yours, tap for green. On Chesh, he chooses one color, and all his lands are that color. Goodbye any hopes of making more than one color of mana, unless you have mana rocks. And then I will pass turn. Actually, tick up the Vivian and Kid. No one. Yeah. So what happens Pass. in that case with Fertile Ground? Because it produces uh, an extra matter of what's... any colour. Can I read Fertile Ground? Mm -hmm. Whenever Enchanted Land is tapped no. for mana, its controller adds an additional one mana of any colour. Yeah, so that is gets the right? enchantment creating the mana. Uh, and so you still get any colour. Yeah. Alright, good. Excellent. So I still have access to two colors. Um, yes. I guess I'm going to choose blue. Sure. I, I guess. Uh, so we'll draw a card. Of course, that's not blue. You jerk face. Um, all right. So I'm going to tap this for a green and a blue. No. Uh, a white and a blue. Yes. And then we're going to tick up and untap it. And then we're going to cast it, uh, tap it again for uh, a white and a blue. Um, how much does Hollow Gemstone cost? Uh, three. Three? Huh. That's fine. Uh, so that'll be two, that'll be three, four. Quarantine filled with four counters. Uh, and we're going to be quarantining your uh, Holy Gemstone. So when it enters the battlefield, for each isolation counter on it, oh, for each isolation counter on it, wow. Exile up to one target non-land permanent and opponent controls until quarantine field leaves. Uh, I guess I get to nail four things. So, um, yes. hey, Caitlin, how many non-land permanents do you have out? Oh. Oh. Wow. Sweet. I'll exile them all until quarantine really field leaves. Just... Yes, I am. Absolutely. Not going to hit the trading post? Nope. Wow. Oh, shit. <laughs> and... To be cocky, okay. I'll pay one life and make a goat with my trading post while we're at it. <laughs> uh, <Whoa. laughs> Chesh with that bomb. I'm such he a jerk. just realized it's just making that more easy for me. It's like if you hit one of my one or two of my things and then other things that were actually scary. I mean, you're I right, but at the same action. time... Every time you've played Hall of Gemstone, I've I've ended up losing miserably and having a very miserable game experience. So I'm going to also yeah, attack yeah. you for two. <laughs> yeah, it's fair. Because it makes my life feel slightly better. <laughs> just, I want you to know that I disenchanted that on my turn oh, with that's, my commander. That's fine. Pass turn. Alright. Untap. Draw. Also, I'm cracking Myriad Landscape. Are those codes 1-1s? One 0-1s. One zero zero ones. Ones. Nice. Um, I'll tap 6, cast my commander, and then beginning of combat, I'll make a 2-1 mirror, and then convert all of my tokens into mirrors. All right. So I have four tokens. It'll be five altogether. Two ones. It's and like then... looking in a mirror. For a... Oh! <laughs> wah, wah. You deserve to die for that comment. Go to attacks. 
And I'll swing at Caitlyn for 12, and I'll make a treasure token. Ow! I like my colored mana. And then that'll be my turn. All right. On 10. Upkeep draw. You know what to do, Dylan. Do I? <laughs> you know who to attack. <laughs> No. <laughs> I will play. Kill her. All right, and then we'll be bringing Soulmate Bolas here. So one, two, three, a one. Down to thirty-two. Nickel Bolas comes out. Lathless triggers. I get a five-five dragon token. And then swing at six at Caitlin. Ow! Oh, also, everyone discard a card. I'll discard Subterranean Tremors. I just got Kai's Blessing. I will discard. I guess a Vivid Meadow. Alright, and then. Before my turn ends, I'll tap Helen Necropolis for a blue, and I will ponder. Yeah. Work on your lighting again. Go. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, um... the pixels. So I get to look at top three, put them back in the order. Cool. Um, put it back in this order. I won't shuffle. Turn. Yep. So, untap, draw, play a land for turn. Five mana, cast my commander, take her down, destroy the quarantine field. Uh oh. Uh, the opinion is on four. Then move to second main. Add count, uh, still only one island? Mm -hmm. Uh, one yes. island. Yep. So add one green mana. Tick down Vivian to look at the top three cards in my library. Oh, I forgot to draw a card of Ponder. Let's put it back in the order. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. I will. Exile this face down, and the other two on the bottom. Hey Dylan, just to let you know, your camera is still looking fairly dark. Let's see what I can do. And... Pass turn. Sweet. Uh, I will untap. Uh, I will choose white. Actually, white. sorry, I needed to do something because that's 30 mana, so I will cast this during my main phase. Eternal Witness, get back, Metallic Mimic. Ugh. Gross. <laughs> um. Yeah, I chose white. Yes. Draw a card. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting, interesting, so do, do our lands lose all abilities too, or...? No, um, everything else functions fine, it's just if a land would produce mana, produces one mana of the chosen color instead of any other land type. So, yeah. so they're yeah. currently producing Ancient white. Tomb still deals two? Yes, yeah. it is two damage, add one col one colored mana. 
It's not good. Okay, great. Uh, so I'm going to produce a green and a white, I guess. Then I'm going to tick up Estrid and untap it. I have to read things. Uh, white, so white. her ultimate is replenish? Yeah, pretty much. White, white, tap. Okay. I'm going to return quarantine film back to my hand. Uh, then I'm going to produce another green and a white. And then I'm going to quarantine field just the Hall of Gemstone. And then I will pass the turn. Untap. Um, well, instead of I'll pay one life, make a goat. Yep. Untap. You are the goat. Man. Oh. <laughs> hmm. Play a buried ruin. <laughs> making dots. I'm gonna play fairy formation. Why, and... why are people making dots? What? Uh, it's a 5-4 flyer and I can pay 3 in the blue to create a 1-1 one, one blue fairy uh, with flying and draw a card. I'm gonna cool. do that. And then I'll go to combat. I'll be back That'll in be just a second. Fairy. And then I'll convert one, two, seven, into eight fairies, including, okay, so nine, because of Brutoclad's mirror that he makes. All right, so nine fairy tokens all together. And is anyone wide open? Um, Dylan, what do you got? I've got a five, five flyer and a four, four flyer. Um, What's it going to take for you to not kill my Lannery Storm if I were to swing at you and get a treasure? Um, be nice to me. Be nice to you? I'll be nice to yeah. you. Alright, I'll swing at Bring you, me, uh, Lannery Storm. How much? How much? That Just two. Two? Uh, Easy. Really want that treasure token. Cool. I'm going to sack the treasure and uh, cast Goblin Welder. And then I will pass my turn. All right. So I've got to pick a color. Uh, not anymore, I don't think. Hey, Galen. Yep. What's uh, what's the deal with Venna? Uh, that is gone. It's exiled again. It's gone. Easy. Well, but how did you get the quarantine field back? <laughs> Chesh. I think he stepped aside. Sure. I think we need to stand up. Alright, I am going to... Play Drowned Catacomb. And then... So... What have you got on the board, Caitlin? You have have a Call of Gemstone, a 1-1-7 one, one, Safekeeper, a 2-1... And two points walkers. And you've got just a bunch of tokens on your end. Mm -hmm. And he's just got planeswalker and enchantments, hasn't he? Uh, yeah. Uh, he has. Um... Sorry, I'm back. Cool. Yeah, what do you got on the board? Josh? Uh, I have SRAM. I have a Soul Snare, and I have an Estrid. Sorry, I realized right, that I haven't actually on. eaten today. So... Oh, cool. I should do that. Yeah, I just realized, so I was like, hmm. uh, What's the rules interaction if I were to say Chaos Swap a token? The token would get shuffled in and see through, and yeah. then you still get the But it would still resolve? Yeah. Yes. Cool. Not going to do that, but thanks for letting me know. All right. Now this is where you're being nice to me is going to come in handy, Jake. Okay. 
Um, gonna go tap for black, tap for black, uh, tap for anything else. Make Crux of Fate, destroy all non dragon creatures. Hmm. Um. My mouse token goes away. Yep. Yeah. All my stuff dies. All right, then I move to combat. Um, so what do you got? You got nothing anymore. All right, so we're gonna swing fifteen at Caitlin yep. in the air. Ah, uh, I guess I'm taking fifteen. I'm down to four. And turn. Uh, take up for release, make an elf token. Pick up Vivian, give the elf token vigilance. Sure, why not? Uh, Emerald Medallion, Metallic Mimic, naming elves. I should have done that in the other order so I could get that plus one plus one counter. Um, and then past turn. Let's hope that I'm still alive by the time I get my next turn. I'm not going to kill you. Untap. Draw. Um. <clears throat> I could have brought you down to one. Hmm. Wait. Green blue. Let's play a bent charm on Laughless. So put it at the bottom of your deck. Cool. Mm -hmm. I think that that's um pretty standard. Fair. Um, let's play an island. Let's oh, kick fuck. down to seven, and let's put a mask counter on the quarantine field just in case. And Jake's got nothing at the moment. Jake's tapped out. I'll attack Jake for two. I'll take two and go to 35. And I'll pass the turn. Untap. Draw. Okay. Um, stay. Play Helm of the Host. Nice. Tap five for Coat of Arms and pass. All right. Untap. Ha! Empty two box still coming up as <laughs> incorrectly. Oh. It came up as this is um, sponsored content. Yeah. <laughs> I thought we cleared that off after the last stream. Draw. Okay. All right, so I will play Sunken Hollow. So I have enough mana. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Cool. Pay seven, take one. I'm going to be playing Sepulchral Sepul Sepul Primordial, 5-4 with Intimidate. When it enters the battlefield, for each opponent, I may put up to one target creature from that player's graveyard onto the battlefield under my control. So what you guys got? 
Lannery Storm, Goblin Welder, and Fairy Formation. Stream. It's gonna be a creature. Oh, you just cut out? Uh, nothing. I have Seven Safekeeper and Eternal Witness. Uh, what creatures do you got there? Jay? What's, got the, big, what's the biggest boy? The 5 4 flyer. I will take the 5 4 flyer. So it's fairy formation. You pay three and a blue, and it makes a token, and you draw a card. Yep. And what have you got, Caitlin? Summons and summon safekeeping. Summon safekeeping is a 1 1 with sacrifice land to target creature against Shroud until the turn. Yeah, and what's the other one? And it's not on Innis, it's on the battlefield, they turn a card from your graveyard to your hand. Alright, I will do that one then. So when that enters the battlefield, I return a card from my graveyard to my hand. Yep. I will choose... I will choose Ponder. All right. And then I will swing. You know what? I don't want to be the first to die. Um, I'm going to swing five in the air at you, Caitlin. And have you got any flyers, Chesh? Negatory. And I'll be swinging four in the air at you. Commander damage. Yep. Yep. Good. Cool. I know we have this token, but it served its purpose. And turn, Chesh. Yep, one second. D. <clears throat> Alrighty. Untap. Draw. Hmm. Okay, okay. I need to down Esther. And I'm going to put an aura mask back on Tram. And then two, three, is Shram white or four. colorless? It is white. Oh, he is white. Yes. I'm going to play a Sage's Reverie on Shram. So, Sage's, Sage's Reverie is Enchant Creature Aura. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, I draw a card for each aura uh, that I control that's attached to a creature. So, it'll be two. Uh, an enchanted creature gets plus one plus one for each aura I control that's attached to a creature, which is two. So he'll become a four four, unless somebody has any interaction for that. Nope. No. Nope. Great. Then. Caitlin, are you dead? And it's already chancery. Yep. Yeah, he killed her. Uh, I put a forest in my hand. I didn't realize she was that low. Dylan killed her. Yeah, yeah was she was on four and she hit me for five. <clears throat> um. Hmm. I think I just passed the turn. No, oh, I should have drawn one fresh frame as well, actually. And then passed the turn, yeah. Okay, untap, draw. Huh. Okay. Uh, pass turn. Oh boy. Oh. Alright. Untap. In the door? Okay, what's everyone's life total at? 35. I'm on 36. Negative one. <laughs> Alright. 
I'm gonna pay one to Pondon. Enjoy a card. I will then hang on. I will need this. I will then pay one. Man, I'll soul ring. Because it's pretty. And then one red. And two of whatever. Let's chaos warp this token. Let's see what we get, boys. Search for a scanter. Not bad. All right. And then... Did I put a lamp return? I don't think so. All right. Well, now I don't have to worry about Pylons giving Kayla mana. Plain Island. And wow, super harsh, but fair. Yeah. So we'll pay two blue and for three extra. So take three, one. Three down to twenty six, and then I will play pull from tomorrow. Draw X cards where X currently equals three. One, two, three, and discard one card. You didn't want to use your soul ring to get an extra card. Thank you. I You're welcome. I pulled it. So I'll draw an extra... I've just been sitting here staring two. at it because it looks like it's black watered. It's an extra two. Um, I will discard... Oh, that's a good one, actually. I will discard this island. And... One, two, three, four, five. Five cards in hand. Pass turn. Uh, at the end of your turn... Five cards in hand. Five cards in hand. I'm gonna make a goat. So what are the premises for goat making? Uh, I pay one life and tap trading post and make a goat. Fair enough. So my turn, huh? <clears throat> it's your turn. Untap a draw. I will play an island. Uh, let's see here. White, white. Uh, yep. One, two, three, four. Wait. Two, four, five, six, seven. Marshall Coup for seven. What's that do? So, uh, I get to create X one one white soldier creature tokens, so seven. If X is five or more, I destroy all other creatures. Wow. Uh -huh. Okay, good dice. So I get seven one ones. My mask counter goes away from poor old shrimp. Uh, I will tick down one and put the mask counter back onto Shram. Because protection is good. Hey, Dylan. Yo. Swing you in the face for four damage. Four damage? Yep. What are you swinging with? Shram. Shram. Well, I mean, you should have no creatures because I just killed all your creatures, so. Oh, did you? Yeah. Okay. Oh, I'll skip it to command zone. Token's gone. Promedial here. All right. Uh, four damage, take it. Yep, pass turn. End of your turn, I'm gonna cast Cyclonic Rift Overloaded. Yep. Right. God damn it. Untap. Hey, it goes to man, doesn't it? Uh, 
fairy formation will go to my hand. Fairy formation was destroyed. It was dead, yeah. Soul ring goes to your yeah. hand as well, too. Um, well, that changes my play a little bit. And then <clears throat> tap the Great Furnace for a red. And then tap the Sacrifice It. Uh, draw a card. Okay. Play in. Is it Guild Gate? Six and two. My commander, Rudy Clad, and go to combat, make a 2 1 mirror, and attacks. Let's see. Uh, Dylan, I'm gonna hit you for two. Okay. Then I'll pass right. Make it a heist. <laughs> Pause turn. Alright. Untaps. So, do it just quickly. Life check, you're on 28, sure. is that correct? I am on 20. 20, right. I knew there was something missing. There we go. Alright. So, draw. I'm out of water again. I will tap one island to play Sol Ring. Then I will tap Sol Ring to play Racto Signet. Then I will tap Crumbling Necropolis. I'll tap for black and blue. I will cast Dance of the Dead. What does it do? Uh, take target creature from any graveyard and put it directly onto play under my control. Tapped with a plus one plus one counter. Treat it as a. Sorry. It's text real small. Treat that creature as though it were not just, as though it was just summoned. The creature is not untapped during its my untap step, and at the end of, <laughs> and at the end of my upkeep, I can pay one of the black to untap it. Get a love ice age. So the same three targets. Same three targets. Well, I'm bringing back my primordial with a plus one plus one counter, which triggers, and I get to steal something from your graveyards. Well, I got nothing in my okay. graveyard, so go nuts. All right, what do you got? Lannery Storm, Goblin Welder, Fairy Formation. Um, what's the Goblin Welder? Uh, you tap it and switch about an artifact on the battlefield and in the graveyard. Um, I think I'll get your Fairy thing again. All right. Fairy Formation. All right, and. So I've still got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana up. <clears throat> I will play a land for turn. Cabal coffers. I've only got two swamps, so currently not very useful. Um, and then I will tap Crumbling Necropolis and Command Tower for search for a scanter. And I will do Drowned Catagome and Luxury Suite for Demonic Tutor. And then that'll be me done. All right, untap and drop. Ooh, interesting. Hmm. Okay. Um, um, um. Let's pay for and play a Rixmith Thief. Guess why not? It comes in tapped. So it does. Five slumber counters. Uh, uh, and if he casts a spell, okay, great. 
<clears throat> so we're gonna go white one. I'm gonna play Scram. Move the counter. Forest, pay two, fertile ground, draw a card for SRAM, Una White, we're going to put some to good old totem armor on SRAM, uh, so this is Hyena Umbra, it's a one white for an enchantment or an enchant creature, Enchanted creature gets plus one, plus one, and first strike. So I draw a card for SRAM again. Then I'm going to pass the turn. Discard it again. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight. Okay. Discard. discard that. And then discard. I guess I'll snap. <clears throat> two, three, four, five, six. No. Seven. Great. Excellent. I'm going to equip Helm of the Host to Brutaclad. Nice. Yeah. I'm going to cast Kiki Jiki Mirror Breaker. Kiki Jiki. Um, Getting Kiki Jiki with it. Getting Kiki Jiki. Na, 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 I don't na, know na. if I can respond fast enough when I go to combat. So uh, here's what I'm going to do I'm going to go to combat and stack the triggers so that. My non-legendary Brutaclad comes into play first, um, before it would make the mirrors. Is there a window where I could tap Kikijiki and make another Brutaclad before uh, it makes the things, or...? That's a good question. Caitlin, where are you? <laughs> I don't... I don't remember. Let's assume um... I can't. Because um, that sounds right. But... I'll just make another Brutaclad, um, and we'll assume it can't make that. So I'll get two yeah, mirrors Yeah, actually, it wouldn't be able to create any more tokens because it's coming into play after that window is closed. Yeah. Right. Okay. So um, before the... Okay. So I can't Kikijiki and make another Brutaclad, even if it wouldn't make a, an extra mirror, right? Uh, you could make an extra... hang on. No, you couldn't, because the sacrifice has to happen. There's no time to interact, I believe, between when right. the extra Brutaclad token comes in that's also legendary. It causes a legendary rule to affect straight away. As I understand it. Well, it's non-legendary from... Oh, it's non-legendary. Uh, then it... The, 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 my brain just broke. I don't care. Yeah. And here's what <laughs> I'm going to do. We're going to assume it doesn't work because that's easy. And we're all tired. So, um, Helm of the Host triggers making another Brutaclad. Um, and before all the mirrors come in, I'll make another Brutaclad. And then the original two will make two mirrors. So the brand new one didn't make uh, pretty clad. Mm -hmm. Mirror, mirror on the wall. And then I'll turn my five Who's tokens into five Brutaclads. And now Coat of Arms is giving them all plus five, plus five. Um, Hot damn. So I've got six nine nines. Um, what's everybody's life total at? 20. Uh, and that how is many blockers? Question. I'm on 36. And I have one blocker. Uh, Dylan, how many blockers do you have? I have one blocker. One blocker. Alright. I am going to send four tokens at Dylan. Um, so, one Brutaclad back here. Four tokens at Dylan. They are nine nines. And Josh, I'll send 
Mm, nothing your way. All right, sure. Or not. So nice. I will block one, and then I take eighteen. Uh, it'd be twenty-seven. God damn it! Um, do I have any responses? No. GG. All right. That dies, and then Cheshire go. Yep. Yeah. Excellent. All right. I'm just going to kill Chish next turn. Uh, one of the bird clouds was sacrificed from Kiki Jiki. Untap. Draw. I think we'll play a forest, I guess. Hmm. You're still very, very much alive in 35. I think what I really need to do is actually just exile your entire board somehow. But we don't have that choice. <laughs> That's pretty simple. I mean, you just would exile think exile so. the whole board. Um, I'm going to... I should actually be on three because of both of those. I'm going to play Sage's Reverie on Shram. Uh, so, I draw a card for each aura I control that's attached to a creature, which is 2 plus 3 and will be 3. Uh, and it gets plus 1 plus 1 for each aura that I control that's attached to a creature, which is 2, so it'll become a 4-4. Four, four. So I draw 3 cards. 1, 2, 3. Are any of them a board wipe? No. Mm. Mm. Okay, uh, let's go. White and one. I'm going to chuck a spirit mantle on our SRAM so it gets plus one, plus one, and has protection from creatures. Draw a card. Uh, white, green, one. We're going to enchant it with unflinching courage so it gets plus two, plus two, has trample and lifelink. Draw a card. Ah. Uh, if only I had one more white mana, that could have been hilarious. All right, let's, this thing, hang on, one, two, yeah, okay, that's now a creature. Let's have a look, so, base is two, two, so four, four, five, five, six, six, first strike, lifelink, trample, seven, eight, nine, ten, 10, 10, life, link, first strike, trample, creature. <sighs> that was, that's, that's great. That's fine. Nine cards in hand. Huh. I guess at least I've got a blocker against your oncoming uh, absolutely horrible slaughter lords. <laughs> what do I do from here? Uh, pass the turn. Got to discard down. So we'll discard a journey's chosen and a forest. What's the land that you have over there? The ones that I have untapped? Yeah, is that just a island and a forest? Island and a forest, yep. Yeah. Okay. Um, Oop. I'm gonna play Ghost Quarter. And I'm going to sacrifice Gargoyle Castle and make a Gargoyle. Mm -hmm. I'm going to Kikijiki uh, to make a, another Brutaclad token. I'm going to go to combat. I'll make a <laughs> Brutaclad token. And seven, two, one mirrors. I'll convert all those into Brutaclad token, including this Gargoyle. I have. 14. So now I have 15, 18, 18. Uh, coming your way with uh, 14, 18, 18. Uh, I will <laughs> choose to die. Yeah, that sounds great. I'll choose Good to die. Game. Good game. Good game. Good <laughs> game. 
Alrighty. Now, I understand it's really late over there for you, Jake, so I, I, I take it that you are going to shoot off, and that's fine. So we'll do Yeah, a, I do have to bail. Yeah, we'll do a closer in just a sec. Um, Caitlin or Dylan, are you sticking around for one more game? I think um, I need to go put some food in myself first, that's... but I can yeah, come same. back in like 20 minutes. I've got, I've got a bit of a headache. I might go lie down, actually. No, that's fine. Yeah. Um, Fresh, we'll, we'll try and fit you in next weekend then, if that's all right. Should it be fine. Uh, okay, so we'll just move on to the closer then. Thanks, everyone, for hanging out. We had some really great games of Magic. Let's go around the table and uh, hock whatever crap we've got going on. Caitlin, do you have anything going on? Uh, new season of Penny Dreadful started today, and it is very exciting. Um, we have Storm, we have Dark Ritual, and a bunch of stuff. Um, one of Black Zombies can put out Lethal on turn two. Um, yeah, it's a lot of fun. You should come play it. And where can people find Penny Dreadful stuff? Uh, pennydreadfulmagic.com. Fantastic. Dylan, what do you got going on? Uh, nothing at the moment. Streaming wise? I've been. No? I haven't, I haven't been streaming lately. Like, the last stream I did was the uh, arena event. Mm -hmm. I've got so much uni stuff going on at the moment, I've been str struggling to balance the two. That's fair. Jake, our, our friend from the US, what do you got going on? Uh, well, two different things. I work at the Command Zone editing Game Nights, and Game Nights will, you know, be coming out uh, along with the Commander set, as expected. Uh, I've got my own channel as well, Jake Boss MTG, where I make all kinds of uh, videos that are tuned to my personality. So overly sappy stuff, uh, cynical stuff, and you know, just I do my thing. <laughs> I don't know how else to explain it. Uh, so yeah, check it out. I used to have a Tonight Show as well. There's 11 episodes of that up on YouTube, live music, and a uh, literal Tonight Show all about Magic the Gathering. Mm-hmm. Cool, and for me, you can find me at twitch.tv forward slash Cheshire Plays Games or on the YouTube at youtube.com forward slash Cheshire Plays Games. You can find me on Twitter at Cheshire Plays. Uh, keep your eyes out because we have some sponsored Wizards content coming up late May with Gavin Verhey. Uh, and su surprise, uh, Sheldon Mennery is going to be coming on as well. Uh, plus, we'll have some Commander 2020 content coming out at the end of May as well, probably with the two of them, hopefully, if the decks arrive in time. Uh, other than that, uh, go and use Ink Gaming forward slash Chesh, like InkGaming.com forward slash Chesh. When you buy your gaming supplies, it helps us out. I mean, it doesn't, doesn't really give us that much stuff, but it's nice to know that people are out there and they're buying that stuff. So use the code when you do. Other than that, uh, did everyone have a really bloody good time? Oh, yeah. Yep. Excellent. We've got to do this again. We'll catch you all later. Thanks for hanging out, and uh, good night. Good night.